Okay, so uh, yeah, happy Friday everybody. We're gonna jump back into the uh, original hardcore, but um, first I'm gonna kind of go into some things I found. Um, what's up Sour Potato? Happy Friday, man. Uh, a friend of mine who does testing for me and a lot of stuff for my reviews, he sent me some, some videos over uh, like a private their private videos on YouTube and showed some really crazy things. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'll make comments on them after I show them, but I'm probably just gonna show them. So, uh, we'll actually just. Okay, so here's my display capture here. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys what um, what he showed me, and then um, I'll make some comments about it. What's up, pseudo? Welcome to welcome to the stream, man. Happy Friday. But yeah, this is my friend does a lot of uh, testing for me, and uh, we we talk back and forth on uh, different tests and things like that. So I'm gonna he sent me a couple videos showing some stuff, and I it kind of made me believe that they've actually uh, nerfed some of the some of the things in the game. So I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit because we don't need to really hear a bunch. But let's uh let's fire up this video. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of like go through this. So this is basically one of the stock engines, race suspension. These are highway tires. This is the mud pit outside of, um, outside the Black River Garage. And this is going to just kind of show you that, so I had speculations and he did after seeing this, that they nerfed, um, some terrain because highway tires should not do this. <laughs> this is kind of what I'm saying, like right here, like he's just kind of cruising through he I mean granted he is in diff lock all-wheel drive and there's uh everyone's favorite puddle that's right yeah so I don't know if you guys when I first started this game it, where you see that grass over there and those telephone poles I used to go that way with highway tires diff lock all-wheel drive with this truck and still get stuck over there I would still spin out so this is leading me to believe that they did something with the terrain and like thinking about it even in Maine I noticed that a lot of American trucks were doing very very well um, I'm gonna kind of skip through this because this is a very very long video but then he's in the 
let's see what he says here. You get the idea. Okay, so basically he's showing that he put cargo on the back. Yeah, every time I do go through the grass as well. So I guess the, the trick is with highway tires, if, if you always have a load, weight equals grip. We know this. But he's just showing that, you know, without weight in the truck, same tires, you just spit out. He, he basically went any, nowhere. And then now he's going to show another spot. Um, this is a terrible spot. I, I avoid this like the plague. I'll go around these trees out here or any other place. So you're going to kind of see that. Open this window to the max. So yeah, this is like a death pit. And he crawled out of it. So, and when he, when he was actually talking to me about this, um, we were kind of blown away. So I had many conversations with him probably earlier this week. Now this, he's gonna kind of explain what truck this is. It's a Kodiak. And you'll kind of see, so same engine, 39 inch tires. These are the UADs. So these are gonna be all terrain tires. Everything else is stock. No all wheel drive, it's two wheel drive. And even with all terrain tires, it should not go like this. Like, hey, what's up, Rob? I'm just showing some video that uh, my, but my buddy that tests, he runs a lot of tests for me. Um, I mention him on every video. So I'm gonna let you guys kind of decide what you think. We know these places, yeah. So you kind of get the get the idea. Um, very very much stock truck, small upgrade tires, and he actually makes it through this. Um, I'm not gonna actually show you all this, but yeah, he climbs up out of it, no winch or anything, and yeah, he gets through a bunch of stuff with stock tires. And I'm gonna move on here. We are gonna get to the stream. I just kind of want to show this. Same deal. These are the UAD tires though. These are going to be all terrain. Now, if I go back to my recollection of when I started this game, I didn't never went, I would never dare to go back here. Um, even with all terrain tires, I, I literally waited until I had better, like really good tires to go back here or an off-road truck. And yeah, he pulls this out. So I'm not really going to show all this, but because I, I kind of want to get back into playing the game real quick, but he does pull this out with, without winching anywhere. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit here, because there's another video I think is even... So this is actually all-terrain tires as well, the same basic bog, just with diff lock. And he makes it through. Now, I'm actually going to jump out of this video and go to the next... Okay, so people were talking about, um, so here's Tamir. Shoot, what am I doing? Sorry, guys. Okay, sorry about that. This is the Tega, as we know. And this thing has highway tires. We all know this bridge. We all know this bog. This is around the same spot that you actually pull the Tega out. So the trick is we've come to the conclusion that having weight in your truck, even with highway tires, you can still survive areas without winching. And as you see, he just plowed through it. Okay, now here's uh, here's the Paystar. Paystar literally has... Highway tires here. Now, I'm I'm being as real as I can. <laughs> and I've I've went to all these maps, these parts, and I've tried this. Back in the day, when I tried this, I never got anywhere with highway tires. I would hardly venture anywhere without off-road tires. So. He crawls out of here with this as well. Um, I'm, I'm kind of going to skip forward just because you can see. Yeah, he crawled out. 
Um, it, it's just for testing. So um, Sudo, he, he does a lot of testing for me and he's been working on testing as well because he does a lot of tire traction tests. As well. um, he's the guy that actually created some mod maps as well. But uh, yeah, he does a lot of like tire testing and stuff like that. It's just for testing, Rob. He does a lot of testing to see what like, there's been a lot of tests that he's done that have literally made, my, made me scratch my head. So yeah, he gets through this as well. I'm gonna kind of skip through, but he yeah, he pulls through it. Here's another spot, highway tires, Paystar, gets up there. I believe he gets stuck finally right here. Okay, now we're gonna go to the final video. And this is probably the one that I found the most interesting because this is kind of, uh, goodness, why does it keep doing that? Okay. All right. So I'm going to kind of stop the video here. All right. So this is the top engine in the 114 SD. It has the UAD twos, which are all terrain tires off-road gearbox race suspension now this is going to be the flooded foothills everybody knows right down if you take the south road out of the garage it is very hard and when he sent me this video he honestly told me he said nate count how many times i use the winch here and uh yeah i'm not going to play this whole video but I'm gonna tell you that he used the winch one time. Now, back when I first started, when I first started this this campaign, um, even some of my best trucks, I wouldn't take through this some of these areas. I would actually skirt around through the trees, just because I there was times I would just go into the mud and sink. I, this is one area right here, and then the other one is coming up. It's very familiar, yeah. So the first time he uses the winch is actually coming up here. And after that, he never uses it again. But it just kind of, it's kind of crazy because these are all-terrain tires. But the secret is um, he's getting away with it because of the weight on the truck. I, I think so, Sour. I, I think so. That's what we're kind of thinking. So he actually has to winch down here. Yep. And that's good. That's the, JL, that's good because uh, that means there's actually, actually some, some realism. But I guess my point is, is that it was never this easy. And these are, you know, level six tires. I would hardly go through this stuff with mud tires. Like right here, I bought them out. I've bought them out with the Azov. Actually, both of them. So. Yeah, it would be. That's true. But yeah. Kind of like get the idea. He just, you know, slides through all this stuff. He, He's going through the... This is actually a really a good spot I want to show. This is that swampy area that's continued south. Um, every time I've been in this swamp, I've had to winch myself through. Every time. So, <laughs> you can see it's all terrain tires, a little bit of weight on the bed. Not really a good truck. <laughs> it's getting through. So, yeah, he's going to. He's going to show some videos and do some um, some different videos to kind of go through this a little bit more. But I'm, we're, we're trying to work on formatting. So, yeah. That's kind of what I wanted to show because I was on District B13 underscore use um, his channel the other day. And we were talking about it while he was streaming. And a lot of the, the people in the chat were saying that, you know, that's false. Like, no, he, he didn't drive through that, not with highway tires. And I, I told him, I was like, look, man, I promise you it happened. So Tech, what's up, man? If you rewind a little bit, Tech, I'll show you those, 
those videos we were talking about on District Stream the other night with the highway tires and the tests my friend was doing, but yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna take a little sip here of this coffee and we're gonna get started. And lastly, I wanna say thank you guys for uh, for being a part of this journey. Um, the other day I got a message or a comment on one of my videos saying 1K and I actually fired up my, my YouTube. I looked at it and uh, yeah, I hit 1K subscribers on YouTube. So it's pretty super crazy because I never thought it would be here. So thank you guys, appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get started. Oh, you're gonna play solo league? Nice. Okay, so let's jump in here. We are in Russia. You got six? <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Thank you, Sudo. So it's gonna take me a little bit just to kind of like orient myself on what I need to do here because I left off right before phase six started. Scout fuel carrier. Okay, I probably will go get that sometime. Oh, guys. Forgive me, because I'm going to be uh, taking a little bit here, just to kind of figure out. I, I knew I had something going here. Northern Road, no. That's Simnogorsk, that's Rift. Simnogorsk. Oh gosh, tell me I'm not have to do logs right now. I think I do. Uplink, data mining. Softer, compound, lower pressure, off-road tires don't haul weight as well. Appreciate that, Rob. Thank you. Planning, yeah, the planning state is right. Chat is in the way of the writings. We'll put chat right here then, actually. Hey, happy Friday. Thank you, Eric Happy. Welcome to the stream as well. I could probably just take chat off. We have the box over here anyways. So yeah, we'll just take chat off. There's no reason to have it on. Performance mode. Cool, all right. All right, gents. Um, oh, here we go. Deliver service trailer to the Southern Tower. Ooh, yikes. Oh, I know. I know exactly why I didn't do this. Oh, I got... I know exactly why. Mm. Okay, let me see. I need to, like, see what I got going on. Because I know I didn't do both these tasks because I'm going to um, siphon fuel. One of them's right... Th and that's it right there. That's the fuel carrier. So let's see what he has in him, actually. Refuel. Oh my gosh, it's full. Oh my goodness. All right, so I know what I'm going to do. It's, uh, I think it's logging time. I apologize, everybody, but this has to happen. You're going to celebrate by heating up some homemade pizza? Nice, man. Good stuff. I, honestly, I thought about just hanging out and, like, not streaming today. But, uh... So, as you can see, I have... Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's check these. I'm going to do these contracts here. Medium logs. Let's just check where I got to go. Corey. I'm pretty sure I can get all of them here. Medium. Yep. Okay, cool. And I have my trailer there as well. So that's what we're going to do. Jump back in my old P12 here. Nice. 
But yeah, I honestly, I thought I wasn't going to stream today because I was like, man, I'm not, I don't want to, uh, I was working on my videos and stuff like that. And I just thought to myself, man, I just, I just want to chill right now and not do anything. Because after I record a little bit, it just kind of, uh, it's exhausting. I'll, I'll tell you that much, but I just decided I'm going to get on here because I want to show you guys some of that stuff. So, let me see here. I think. Let's go video. I shouldn't go down. Cool. Let me see something. I want to make sure. Okay. Okay. I got, man, it looks so much better on, on, on Twitch. It's insane how much better a stream looks on Twitch. You feel guilty from watching and just not uh not doing any work. It's a waste of money in your point of view. Um, so here, there's a reason why actually, and I'll kind of break down why. <clears throat> so right now, in my current stage, I will actually like I'll break I'll kind of break this down. It would seem that way, Luke, but I'm playing chronologically. And what I'm doing is this truck is one of the only vehicles right now that can do this, that can self load itself and put long logs on there. The other truck is the P512 and the Azov 73210. So I haven't bought the 73210 yet, but this one, um, this is why, basically why I bought this. And also, it's it's a great crane truck as well. So it's self-sufficient. So it actually, it cuts down on how many vehicles I need to bring because I always throw them in the sideboard bed. So instead of me bringing a separate craning truck to put on this, because you got to think about it, like this is pre-phase six before I got this. So yeah, it's a little bit underpowered because the P12 just, it feels a little bit underpowered, but it was a good purchase in my opinion. Okay, shoot, I'm trying to think, man. Okay, let's go do this logs. Goodness. Whoa. I mean, also, I, I did buy... And another, another reason why I bought it is... Um, for... To haul fuel. It's a good support vehicle. I needed fuel trucks... Um, or I wasn't going to be able to take a lot of fuel out of other maps. Uh, if I go back to... Let's see, if I go back to Alaska right now, I still have like... Oh gosh, like 2,000 gallons of fuel I couldn't take. So, I bought a lot of... I bought a lot... Maybe like three trucks. I bought this truck. I bought the... The Ford CLT 9000 because I'm, I'm going to use that strictly as a, uh, a fuel tanker. And then I also bought the Lodestar.
But yeah, I bought this truck in, in Alaska when I was there. And it was, honestly, it was in response to having difficulty um, in Michigan with logs. Because I didn't have a setup like this where I could self-load myself. <laughs> self-load myself. <laughs> Sounds odd, but... But in, in Alaska, this worked out great. It's just an overall good truck. It's probably one of the best crane trucks in my opinion for how high it sits. I've used it on every playthrough I've ever had. And yeah, it's, it's a dang good truck for sure. Okay. Let's see how many we need here. Waterlogged to the quarry. The shipwreck. Oh, that sucks. So they're all mediums. Except for these. Goodness. Crane the paystar is nice. I'm not sure what that means. Okay. Sawmill. Zimnogorsk. I'm not going there yet. So. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm like disoriented here from... I haven't played this campaign in like... It's been a while, okay? <laughs> it's been a long time. So another thing is... Um, I'm probably not going to get... What's it called? The medium log carrier... Because I just bought this. I bought this before. This is pre-phase 6. So yeah, I bought this. There's nothing really I can do about it. After the fact. Paysar is nice for the crane. Paysar is nice for the crane. One second, I have to answer this text message. Paystar is nice for the crane, but the only thing, Tech, is the Paystar is not the most stable truck. Now, which Paystar are we talking about for? Uh, this is the BM-17. This was actually my workhorse truck for Alaska. This literally was my only truck I used for, like, main deliveries in Alaska so it did a really good job I just turned it into a, uh, a fuel truck because I did buy the Azov 64131 so that's another vehicle I did use oh gosh I need to slow down I need to remember that man I think he does mean the Paystar twin steer Yeah, sour. That that makes sense. Yeah, for sure. It would just be a waste of money for me to buy the medium log add-on right now, especially in hard mode when I ever have this this trailer. Because if I could sell this trailer back, it would make sense to sell it and then attach the um, what's it called? The medium log add-on. But we're just gonna make do with with what we have. I spent fourteen thousand on this. Again, pre phase six. So it's kind of after the fact. Oh, gosh. So this trailer is a mission trailer right now. Oh, maybe it's not. That might be my old one. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Life is dealing with the consequences of our choices. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, no texting while driving. I'm actually gonna turn my volume up a tiny bit. How's the volume on your end, guys? I know I turned down engine sound a little bit. I turned the volume of like the music up. So just let me know. a little quiet okay let me turn it up I need to turn these back up too actually for recording purposes I was just playing main and I was like you know what I'm trying to get into this uh <laughs> to this music or whatever so yeah There we go. That's better. I think so. Of course, I'm getting my engine smacked around. Okay, sweet. Alright, so before I kind of go any further, I'm going to kind of explain what I'm doing. I'm doing things a little bit different. These two ta Usually I, c I complete all my tasks before I move on to contracts. But in this case, I haven't. So Rogue Connection is a service trailer right here that I'm going to actually deliver. But I'm going to use this service trailer um, to actually repair my vehicles before I take it there. Kind of the same thing with the oil sampling. I'm going to siphon fuel from that to 10% like on my uh, my video and then I'll bring it to this location so I haven't done that yet so we'll do that later okay let's think okay I got it <laughs> uh, P12 this is where it would pay to have um, what's it called It would pay to have the Forester waterlogged. Goodness. Okay, we're gonna go to the shipwreck first. Is it free to restore repair points and repair autons in hardcore mode? I think it is. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. Um, we're gonna test that out here, actually, Luke. So. Um, Matu or Matt, Matt, you, um. He's currently working on it, so what we want to do uh, is just basically get a good format of, like, manual loading zone is blocked. But no. Um, we're just trying to get a good format, honestly, like, because you have all this data that's it's really good data, right? So... We just don't know how to present it yet. Do you know what I'm saying? That's the only thing we're kind of like working through, or he's kind of working through. But it should be soon. I know that he's done working on his mod map. This loading dock is like off centered. It should be like right there, but it's whatever.
Man, I love streaming on YouTube over Twitch, but I gotta say, it's crazy for like how much quality Twitch has over YouTube. That's... Okay, this is gonna be six. Like the other day I was streaming on Twitch with like 6,000 bitrate and everything stayed clear, like my face didn't like distort. And today I think I'm streaming at like 7,000 and it's still kind of like blurry. But it, I mean, it looks better, I hope so. Oh, 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 don't do it, don't do it. Okay, so there's six. YouTube is a bigger platform for me. Yeah, I'm very... I don't really have much on, on Twitch. So that is... That's six. That goes to the shipwreck. The other one... Goes to the quarry. I'm trying to think here. I wonder if I should... I'm going to load them all up. I'm going to load all these logs in here. I appreciate that, Rob. All right, hold on a second. I need to turn down this AC. So I'm like, I'm on the road right now. I'm in a hotel and I'm streaming. So uh, my AC just kicked on. It's been like pumping out cold air. So give me a second. Okay, we're back. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, Rob, I, I've bit I, I've been on the road for a while actually. Okay, so we're gonna load basically 12, 12 total logs here. We've loaded, was that not? How many have we loaded so far? Six. Oh shoot. Never mind. We have to load a lot. <laughs> we have a lot of logs to load. Yep, I'm still in Kansas for another another week or so. And then I'm going to Boston. I don't know. I don't even know where I'm going after that, honestly. So that's eight. Uh, what do you think? Let's just do this. We'll do one. Honestly, we'll do one at a time. We'll do one mission at a time. I was thinking about putting them all in here and then just trying to chain these two missions together, but we'll just. We'll do it this way. So here's nine. Okay. I'm actually going to break this off. Take this out. You can't wait to get on the road again? Life you love is making streams with your friends. Nice man. Rob, when are you gonna stream?
It's a line from a song? <laughs> Dude, I'm like clueless. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually run this route here, 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 down to the shipwreck. And finally, my AC turned off. Goodness. So there is another little um, fuel tanker down here as well. I strategically left that there because I wanna, I wanna actually use it or use it up either on my way back, vice versa, or way there, whatever comes first. do a super long stream today because um, I probably need to work on a little bit more on my on my videos and stuff like that so but we'll try to get something done here I know logs aren't the, the most uh, exciting thing to watch but Yeah, Luke, Luke, if you're still here, um, in hindsight, man, if I could have held out to purchase the 73210, um, I probably would have did that. Also, the reason, another reason I, I did buy this is because I needed a good heavy hauler for, like, mission trailers and stuff like that. Those big, super big, like, outsized trailers, I guess you would say. And... I just felt that this one could do it better than the, um, the P16 in some areas, just because of the all-go drive. And it just sits really high, so there was a couple times I had to haul those big trailers and stuff, and this one did pretty well just because it wasn't the trailer wasn't catching. What's up, Dunlop? How you doing, man? Happy Friday. Alright, uh, Sudo, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Have a great, have a great Friday. We'll see ya. Thank you for stopping in. nighttime operations man I miss the times you could uh, switch it back to daylight that's I guess it's kind of part of the hardcore experience though which is it's fine Can I thread this? Let's see if 
I can just thread this needle here. Sure can. Sure can. You know, I think the next engine they need to upgrade is this one, probably right here. The Pacifics, yeah, they need something. But honestly, like, it's weird. I feel, I, it, they just get crapped on. I feel like all American trucks are getting crapped on. Six oh five R. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get the six oh five R. But the thing is, I'm playing it in uh, in map order, so the six oh five R is not gonna come till later. That's the only issue is I needed something now, where I was gonna be stuck using like the BM seventeen or I don't know the White Western Star, or the Fleet Star, the P sixteen. I probably could have used that, but. You know, there's certain there's certain areas the P16 just doesn't want to handle without all-wheel drive. So, yeah. Oh yeah, the logs were hard. Oh man, for sure, they were. An overhead light would be pretty sweet. I'm so tempted right now to actually go get the Forester. I'm so I'm so tempted. But I'm just gonna stay stay true to doing this in uh in map order. Honestly, I, I didn't even use the Zix in the new phase. In phase six, I used it just as a um a fuel truck. That was it. I didn't even I didn't really even mess with it much. I used all these. I used a bunch of like American trucks to, to do stuff. It was kind of kind of fun. Okay. Brits Bradlin equals her husband Rob equals General Disarray on Twitch. It's, yeah. So yeah, and then me buying this truck was a must. I mean, I couldn't not get this truck, so. Let's not get hung up on something. Oh, I need to turn off my Discord. There we go. I think there's a different route I could take. Oh man, I probably could have went up through this way. No, whatever. So we'll just map this out again, so. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And I know, I know where to go. <laughs> The crazy thing is like whenever I got to the end of season six, I found myself like getting antsy to get done. I was like, I don't know. I was like, hold on, just slow down. Like I was, man, I was like really hustling to get things done. It's 
Stockholm Syndrome from Spin Tires, the Mud Runner. Honestly, it's not bad. It really isn't bad. I just know people don't really like watching vlogging. They might rather see like, I don't know, other things. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't mind it. I didn't mind it as much in the new patch, but and, and the thing is, I don't think logging really is that bad in Tamir, anyways. Like three logs here, three logs there. It's not too bad. So something I was th actually thinking about is like coming out with another video, like on an update for the hardcore mode. But I don't really know if it's worth it. I don't know, like, I don't want them to be like redundant. Because most of it I would just talk about the management of resources. Which, um, so far I haven't spent any money on, on fuel at all, so... All right, JL, appreciate you stopping in, man. Have a wonderful Friday. See ya. But yeah, I just don't know. I don't I don't think it's it doesn't seem worth it. <laughs> it's all I also think I was also the thing I was thinking about was uh like, for me, I'm like, do people really care, like, how I'm doing in hardcore mode? Like, probably not. So. Because, like, even how Luke was saying, like, in his opinion, it's not, he, he wouldn't buy the P12. Well, I mean, like, in other people's opinions, like, they could see the P12 as a good asset. So, it's, it's all different. That's the thing, like. As long as you're getting it done, it's it's the same thing. So place to get back to it's this um i don't know maybe it's maybe they dumbed it down a little bit this is why like i've been thinking because like anytime i came here before in like previous playthroughs like right here and on it was like death which is watch out it's probably going to be that way right now Okay. 
go. Stop engine switch. This is where the Forester would be great to have that light, you know. center mass here. Guarantee one of these are gonna fall out. Yep, it's fine. I guess both of them fell. You cannot wait to finish Michigan. I'll tech this right. You started over, right? What I think about using the Longhorn 31. As a heavy hauler, can it do the job? I think it can. Oh gosh, what am I hitting? Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Am I really hitting that? Seriously? Still? I think the 3194 can. Um, the only problem is for like now when we're talking about like heavy hauling the only thing that I really need help with I do think it's it's a good truck but I'm also in this playthrough I'm kind of I'm trying to keep trucks that, that can do multiple things like multiple add-ons etc So yeah, I mean, I think the 3194 can do it. It's just probably not going to be like my my preference of like, if I'm going to choose one. You now if I have to use it, oh, I absolutely will use it out of confidence. But like as like choosing, I probably wouldn't, it wouldn't be my first pick, I guess. But I still think it, it could handle it. Durango, yes, I was. Yep. Sure was. Oh, I got two. Let's see if I can hold on to these two. One second, I'll catch up with Chad here in one minute. Let's see if I can not float these logs here. Mm. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. kind of weird because you have to like position it and then push it so the mud runner crank could do four at a time that's wild okay hey it's uh it's getting it's getting light I'm getting some sunlight coming in Sweet. 
Let's go back. Rob, I don't understand, man. You have your own... You have your own Twitch account. Oh, nope. Don't want that. Thank you. Just need one. Just need one. can change the name on there. I think if you go to YouTube, go to your account, or YouTube Studio, I don't, I don't honestly, I don't even know. What was something I was thinking about doing was like changing my account name to like what my Twitch name is. Whatever, I guess. Center your crane. That's something about this game is your cranes, they can't like spin 360 and like continuous. Like a continuous 360. You have to like recenter them, I guess. Oh, come on. Oh, hey. Still, still showing in one gallon a minute, even with that idle. Okay, sweet. Master crane operator, RP combats. What's up, man? Welcome in. Um, I try to be, I try to be at least somewhat decent, I guess. Alright, so now we are going to go, actually, let me, we're going to go back and do waterlogged. I believe this is going to be the last contract for Quarry. And then we're basically going to move over to, uh, what's it called? Zimnogorsk. Do some scouting. But I need to do those, those two tasks that are here. Which, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to figure out how I'm going to do that. I might have to refit, re-outfit a, um, a truck. I need to fill up, I need to like siphon some gas from that tanker and then repair my trucks as well before I turn that other one in. Which Pacific is better, the P-12 or the P-16? Um, man, that's, that's really hard to tell. I mean, it's really hard to say. Um, I think... 
So for what I'm trying to do in this game, I still have the P12, I haven't sold it. Or the P16, I haven't sold it yet. But I think if you're looking for a vehicle that can do more things, I'm probably going to say the P12. But the P16, I definitely love that truck. I think it's it's depending on what you want to do or what you want to use it for. I just like how the P12 is able to do it, it can fulfill multiple roles, you know what I'm saying? It's not just like you know, a heavy hauler or long logs, which is what the P16 does. The P16 is just a very specialized vehicle. Fuel. Ooh. Actually, you know what? You're coming with me. You're, you're terrible about the log grain? Oh, really? Nice. Oh, gosh, can I even pick you up? Okay, there we go. Whatever, it's not gonna go anywhere. Hey man, how, however you get it done, you know? If you use the, the TH forklift. It would be cool if they had like a, uh, I know they had a forklift back in Mudrunner. I can do a lot of that stuff. Yeah, um, Durango. That's that's a good setup, honestly. Like, if you just have a mission that the uh, the P16 does, and you have another truck for other things, yeah, that's fine. I just have the P16 or the P12 because it's um, it's a good train uh, crane truck. Um, when you put the the maintenance frame on it, it has the extended tank or it has the tank that's larger. I think it's like 529 tank instead of the 476. You can do the long logs with the crane stuff like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, Azov in the semi-trailer for the win. Let me uh, actually think where I'm going here. <laughs> I need to figure this out. Okay, yeah, we're just going back to the sawmill. Yeah, I like, honestly, man, I'm, I'm all about semi-trailers. Pretty much like if you go through all my, all my streams, I'm always doing semis. I mean, there hasn't been a place in the game yet where I haven't been able to, like, use a semi. Like, places like, I would say, maybe, like, Kola Peninsula, you probably don't need one because there's not a lot of, like, heavy hauling or just, like, a bunch of cargo. Usually it's, like, one piece of cargo here, one piece of cargo there, maybe two here, two there. I mean, you could use them just to, like chain missions along and stuff like that but everywhere else I've been able to do this like back there whenever I backed up and like steered out of that right by the P12 I wouldn't have been able to do that with a hitch trailer especially backing up like that it probably would have like tipped me over where's that trailer at Yeah, I don't think it's worth the extra slots too. And uh, I mean, I can throw 
cargo on top of my cab as well and just pin it down. So it's not really that much of a big deal. And then my other argument is the, hit, the hitch trailers are like a separate entity. They act like independently of your vehicle. So like this trailer right here, it's attached to, attached to me. So it takes the properties of my balance. You know, like with a hitch trailer, we can be going through like terrain and all of a sudden like boom. Like I make, I don't flip over, but my, my trailer does. Or I lose the cargo out of my trailer, stuff like that. I'll just take this with me like I mean why not this will be like our little personal fuel tanker it's almost empty anyways okay so down to the quarry So you use the, the high saddle five slot plus the CK plus fuel and radar trailers. The Scout Amandra. Nice dude. Also oh, you just put the CK and the fuel trailer in the back of here and pack them. Is that kind of what I'm getting at? No, I think I can pack this. No, it has to be oriented the, the correct way or something like that, but whatever. Okay, cool, Sour. It's, it's actually a really good, uh, it's a good setup. I've done something similar. Okay, let's go back here and grab this big old boy. Let's see, that's the thing. Maneuvering these these things. I'm so glad they they put logging attachments on vehicles now. Like, I think that was one of the best things they could have done. Uh, what was that? No, I want my nose, dude. Grab here. Here we go. Kind of whip my nose around a little bit. Point turn. There we go. Okay, we'll take this wide. Okay, cool. So, how was the uh, the video quality compared to the last stream, guys? Hopefully, it's a lot better. <laughs> I've been like tweaking my settings a little bit. Nope. Yeah, this this reminds me of what it was like before. Sweet, man. 
You made the home best homemade pizza in the world. What kind of what kind of pizza are we talking about here? Oh, good. Thank you, RP. Appreciate that. Thank you, Gabe. Appreciate that. Glad it looks good because uh, it's been a it's been a struggle <laughs> to try to get a good stream. I'm gonna answer answer this text message. second guys do I like pineapple pizza <clears throat> um my wife loves pineapple pizza yeah my wife loves pineapple pizza and so we're, we're both Italian and uh, we have this joke where I'm like why is there pineapples on pizza and she's like she loves it she loves pineapples period so but yeah I, I do I mean I'll, I'll eat pineapple pizza I'm the kind of guy that like I love sauce like if you're giving me spaghetti it has to be like saucy same thing with pizza I feel like the sauce and the crust those two things are like make or break for me. I do not like, I, I love like pizza that are like thicker pizzas, like, uh, like a Sicilian. There's this place back, back home that has this Sicilian pizza and it's like, man, it's probably, I don't even know how big it is. It's like a two foot by one and a half foot big square pizza. Okay, Rob, what uh, what what kind of pizza did you make here? Oh yeah, Luke, I know that. You can just detach and then winch. But yeah, that's a good way to to turn around if you don't want to tip yourself over. That's like by Jack Knight thing. What's up, Lepic Gamer? Welcome in. Happy Friday. Shoot, where am I going here? I think I'm good this way. Pepperoni, bacon, mushroom, onions, red and yellow peppers, banana peppers, a pound of mozzarella cheese. Goodness, dude. Whew. That's a lot. That's a lot. The crazy thing is, this truck actually burns a decent bit of fuel whenever it's stressed. Like, you stress it out, 
I mean, it'll it'll get up there pretty well, but most of the time it's it's decent. Like right now, it's great. I like load it up with a bunch of things. Like it's basically with every <laughs> every truck, honestly. So. I do think there are a few outliers to that, but overall, you know what truck is super good on fuel is the T813. I know, uh, I think it was, who was that? Was it Gabe that was saying that? He was using that truck? Someone, I forget who it was. I have to scroll up on the chat. The Cory is your least favorite team here, map. I think my least, my least favorite quarry map, it might be Zimnogorsk. Actually, it might be the Rift. I'm not big, that big of a fan of Rift. Ooh. Bit of a camera freak out there. I don't know why it does that. It's like so weird. You know what's actually a cool route that I figured out the other day? Is this right here. This route that goes through these woods and comes down here is kind of cool. Another one that's pretty sweet is this one right here. It goes up through here. And over over here, I don't know, there's some cool trail running parts, like especially like over here. Down here is death. <laughs> death by mud. Oh, yeah. Yeah, RP, that does look pretty cool. It's like... Everything's like flexing. Yeah, those are cool. Which truck do I like the most appearance-wise? Oh, shoot, man. That is a very hard question. <laughs> oh, shoot, man. I gotta do something with this. Probably gonna say. Let me go back. Actually, I'm gonna have to go to the garage and look at this because this, this is a good question. Because man, I never get this question. You know what truck I do like? Um, unknown user. Welcome in, by the way. <laughs> uh, let's see. I can tell you which trucks. I'll, all right, I'm gonna say this. I like the the Ford CLT for highway trucks. For heavy duty, I'm probably going to say I like the International HX or the Cat 681. For heavies, um, that one's kind of tough. For heavies, I'm probably going to say these two. These two are like the Navistar, yeah, and the Dairy are like my jam. I do like the P2512 PF a lot. It's a really good looking truck. For the off-road, I do kind of like this one. I used to hate it. I started to like it. I do like the Voron. I like the Vorons. This one's probably my favorite for the Vorons. I do like the Tega. It's tough. It's tough for me to say which one's like my ultimate favorite, but I do like how these look. I do like the Freightliner. Paystar, Paystar is probably my favorite um, in the off-road class, I think.
And then scouts, yeah, I'm not really concerned with scouts. <laughs> you like the big long nose trucks? Yeah, those are kind of cool too. That's okay. Back to business. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick and I will be back and we'll just get started here. All right, cool. We're back. Uh, let's see here. What we gotta do? The new Tega does look pretty, pretty sweet. It's a tough one, honestly. It's a really tough question. Okay, shoot. Okay, let's see. Let's do it. We're not auto-loading this stuff. Why does it say auto? Here's what we're gonna do, though. So now... I don't know why it's so expensive, but it is free. If you if you download it, it's free. I don't know, the, the HX 520 is a good truck, man. Crazy thing, I don't know how, it's like, it, it was like, it turned my, it turned my head there in phase six. That and the, the CAT CT681. Oh, oh no. Don't fall. Not yet, don't fall. Just lay the down. There we go. Yeah, 170k. My quick thoughts in the Western Star 49X. Oh, dude. That's a truck I actually used in Phase 6 as well. You can go back and, and look at my, my past stream. It could have been, it might be the stream on Twitch, or it might be the stream on YouTube, I forget. I used the 49X and like, um, I like it. Um, my first impressions of it, any vehicle that has a dead axle, I always like kind of scoff at. That's like my, kind of like my downside, I guess. But it, the 49X is, is actually pretty good. It's not too heavy. Um, the thing is, it probably should be in the heavy, it's not, it's not in the right class, it should be a heavy duty and not a heavy, but the thing is, um, the 49X has a heavy winch, and yeah, it doesn't seem like much, but when you have a heavy winch and you're like a lighter truck, uh, you, it's, it's nice, let's just say that, it's nice, you can do a lot with it. 
Okay, let's see. The Pacific, yeah. Pacific P-16 towed the space shuttle, so it's the GOAT of all time. Oh, you, you, you did the space shuttle with the P-16? That's nice, dude. But yeah, I do like the 49, 49X a lot, actually. I'm starting to like a lot more um, American trucks. Or I'm starting to like notice their... Um, I'm starting to notice them more. Or, and I, it's just because of, I'm using them more because the game is not as hard when you use like these overpowered trucks like this one I have right here. So whenever I jump in like a smaller truck that's like not as like off-road capable and I do some crazy things with it, I'm like, yes. Oh, nice. You got to do guard duty on the space shuttle. Oh, it towed it in real life? Oh, shoot. That's awesome. Yeah, the, the 49X has a... It's, it's quick. It's quick off the line, that's for sure. So the CAT CT681 has like its own exclusive engine, I'm pretty sure. So that is something I need to look into a little bit more. Pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the 605 is like, it's unreal. It's just totally an unreal truck. <clears throat> I th they did that just because Amor is so dang hard, so they're like, yeah, we're gonna give them something good. Oh gosh, this is, sucks. I don't wanna get stuck. Okay, cool. Yeah, same spot. You actually broke the A key? Which, what's the A key? Is that like turn? It's A turn. Ooh, that could have been bad. Let's just stop here. Yeah. I just picked that one up, Tech. I just thought I might as well just bring it with me. It's almost empty, so I'll probably empty it out here in a second. As <laughs> the child, that's kind of funny. Because they do look, it, I mean, it's they do look kind of similar, right? The 49X has like the shorter nose. So does the CT681, but the 680 has like the longer snout. One has the the uh, dead axle, one doesn't. It's 
that's a pretty good uh it's a pretty good one potato see I'm, I'm worried about this thing falling over man constantly hitch trailers man Rico Droppy. Don't ask why, but your friend and you set a sidewalk on fire. I just want to know what did the sidewalk do? The sidewalk already gets, uh, you know, pounded enough. People walk on them. Anyways, for anybody that's just coming in, uh, we're playing hard mode right now. This is my play hard hard mode playthrough. Also, if you rewind the stream back to the beginning, I showed some findings that my uh, my buddy who does a lot of testing and stuff like that, we were looking at his his tests on tires and grip. If you want to look at that, it's in the beginning of the stream. It's really some cool information. And yeah, you can go back and look at the conversations we had. The scout trailers, oh gosh. Speaking of scouts, I heard that phase 7 is going to be all scouts. So yeah. Yeah, nighttime in Tamir is, is kind of spooky. Taking it easy. Yeah. Yeah, Muffin. Sometimes. That's what I heard. I heard season seven, I heard is gonna be all scouts. Just scouts alone. That's just rumor though. I don't I can't like speak on that too much. The maintenance trailer? I'm trying to think. No, I don't know. I know the maintenance trailer has, I think, 529. I don't go by liters. I go by gallons. So I think 1,800 liters is 529 gallons. I'm pretty sure it has 529. What's up, Than? Happy Friday. Welcome in. Oh, shoot. Uh, okay, I'm not going this way. I'm going to go down around. I know, I'll spill these logs everywhere. I'm not about to do that. Oh yeah, that's right. That little radioactive place where you get those... Those, uh... Yeah. So if you drive through there at night, you'll see like little eyes looking at looking at you. It's, it's super creepy. Like I'll, actually, I'll show you this the spot. This spot right here. Uh, where's it at? Oh, it's not here. It's in Drown Lands. This spot right here. So if you drive down, like there's like a fencing. There's a fencing on both sides here. Like right here, if you drive through this at night, like there's like eyes that look at you, like a bunch of them too. Yeah, scouts, and that's why I haven't really been doing many scout reviews. And there's been actually a lot of people been saying like they want to see scout reviews and I'm going to get to them, I just don't know like how much work I'm going to put into them because um, it's just rough. So let me check that because I have my thing on here. 
Oh, Lat Latvija. Latvi, sorry, I probably slaughtered your name. Sorry about that. Thank you for the subscription. Appreciate it. Welcome in. Happy Friday. Just uh, knocking out some hard mode. No, that's true. There is no reason to take that. It's very true. Okay. It seems like every time, honestly, it seems like every time I go to do logs, it's always at night. I don't know why that is. Maybe I just suck at getting places, like, quickly. Okay, this should be good. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's right. I think I, I, think I remember hearing about that. Oh, appreciate it, man. Thank you. Appreciate everything. Glad you could stop in. We are trucking, that's for sure. Actually, we're logging. Give me a swing, give me a swing. There we go. I want to swing in. There we go. That's what I need. Down and push. Yeah, I have been there. That's like a little bit farther north than the, um, what's it called? Than that little radioactive town, I think, right? Get over here. Sorry, Mr. Trailer. Oh, oh, oh. Perception is off right now. Okay, I'm trying to hurry up before it gets like truly nighttime. <laughs> good question I'm kind of I think like something I I have really no no complaints about season six so far um, I mean there I have a few complaints there's like a small I'll actually go into it just so I can show you actually I can't I'm not in this playthrough but I'll, I'll actually go back to the main menu here Load game, it's not 95%, it's 100%. I don't know why it does that. It'll say it. Okay, yeah, see, it's, it's all 100%. <laughs> yeah, it's all 100%. Anyways, so the only thing I disliked about this map was this area right here. Like this area was the only thing I did not like. Um, 
it just you couldn't just like distinguishing pathways and stuff was kind of hard but after a while it kind of got a little bit better that part and then um i'll just talk about the other part the other part is i don't think they should have put the trans stars upgrade on i guess you would call it an end game map like it should have been on phase six it should have just been like given to the trans star or like maybe have like a level requirement to it same thing with the dan same thing with the dairy like just put a level requirement cap on them kind of like you did the the dlc trucks because like i would like to use those upgrades earlier in the game when i started over instead of like having to go to main to get them you know what i mean it just makes more sense i think like you can add different upgrades to main Oh, you were doing the DLC reverse order? Oh my gosh. Oh, you got season two? You don't like season one as much? Season one was pretty tough, man. Season one was pretty darn tough. Same with the GMC upgrade, yes. Absolutely, Potato. 100% agree, man. I don't think, like... Like, they had, they had such a good idea when they brought those DLC trucks out, the free ones. You know, like, their all-wheel drives and their diff locks are, are all level requirements. You know what I mean? Like, that is such a good idea. Especially, like, whenever, like, trucks need them or they've needed them for a long time. Like, that's a good way to just, like, remedy that. Yeah, the dawn was kind of short, but there it was like a puzzle. I, I did like the dawn. I don't. Know, I still. I. I still think main was like main. I'm very very pleased. Sweet. Yeah, exactly, exactly, Muffin. I mean, like, I know somebody who plays highway trucks and has, like, really, really good success. He has, like, his own highway truck series. And, you know, he was using all those highway trucks in, like, Maine and doing really well with them. But still, like, I would make that, that like, upgrade maybe, like, level 12 or something like that. And then make, like, the dairies engine upgrade level 30. Something like that, you know? Yeah, that's another thing, Potato. And that's kind of why I wondered why the Tega was in Maine. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, they're, it's kind of like getting mixed up. Everything's getting jumbled up now, you know? I don't know. That's just my, that's just my opinion. But, you know, my opinion doesn't really matter. Okay. Now. I need to figure, I need to figure this out. <laughs> You like how Co Lake Cove, Mondra, and so far the Yukon suck to know why. They're just random tar pits. <laughs> Those are, they're hard maps, man. They're doable. They're hard, though. Okay, I need to go back to the garage and see. I need to start siphoning fuel so I can finish these tasks before I go to, um, what's it called? Over to, um, yeah, these are all full. I do still have the good old dairy. You still have you. Yeah, I still have all these. They're all full. Okay, so what I gotta do... I basically need to go around and just check. 
I know the BM-17. Um, I know he doesn't have a ton of fuel right now. So maybe I'll go siphon some out. Yeah, they're both kind of super trucks. They really are. Death snow mud, yeah. Yep, that's how it feels, kind of. That's for sure. Okay, I'm trying to think here. I'm, I'm just trying to like brainstorm. Sorry, guys. I want to. I want to get my trucks repaired. So I, I use this area down here as like a central hub where I like basically, I just kind of like base my operations out of. So I'm going to go here, repair all these trucks with that mission trailer, and then I'm going to turn that mission trailer in. Same thing with the, the fuel trailer. It might not be at 10%, but I think I'm just going to do it. I'm not really struggling with, with fuel at all, so... But we'll see. I also can take the. I probably could take the P12 back to the garage, re outfit it with a tanker or something like that. Ooh, that hurt. And then handle it that way, but we'll see. Fuel. Actually, hold hold the phone here. Oh, he's already full. <laughs> fuel carrier trailer. Yep. See, that's the thing, man. It's, it's got completely full. Goodness. So I'm just trying to siphon most of this fuel out of this trailer because it's a mission trailer right now. It's like fuel trucks galore. get up here. I guess I can go this way. I'll try to. Ooh. Trying to read chat. Not driving. <clears throat> yeah, I see what you're saying, Lou, yeah. That makes sense. Honestly, it's like... I don't even know, man. Honestly, I think, I think the developers, they're like... 
I really, if you want my, my opinion of them, I think like they're just backpedaling. So it, it's like they go in these ebbs and flows and it's, it's basically because like the community can be a bunch of complainers about, you know, map maps being too hard, maps being too easy. And then it's like, they're trying to like make, it's like trying to please people, you know what I'm saying? But then like, I really do think they, they toned down some of the, the terrain recently. Because, I mean, I mean like, I think it's, I don't wanna say it's evident, I'm just, it's pure speculation. But I mean like, from past, like past experience, like whenever they brought out like Amandra, like Amandra was super hard, everybody freaked out. And then, you know, they brought out Yukon. Yukon was kind of hard too, so like two pretty hard maps. And then like the third, Wisconsin, people complained that it was too easy. <laughs> and then like, and then of course, here comes Amor. And then after Amor, they had to like, kind of like backpedal a little bit, like, hey, this stuff is a little bit too hard. So I don't, I don't know. Just pure specul- that's just pure speculation though. What's up Vlad? Welcome in. Happy uh, Friday. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping in. just uh, finishing up some logging. I'm going to go uh, try to complete these other two tasks, which just consist of me repairing and refueling my trucks, and then I'm going to turn them in and then move to Zimnogorsk. I need to see if I don't even need a trailer anymore. I think I'm done with. It. I'm done with. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm done with this trailer. Yeah, I'm done with it. I don't know why I'm even hauling it around. I'm about to just delete it. I guess I'll leave it just in case they add <laughs> trailers again. But we're done. chat real quick sorry <laughs> yeah exactly yeah I agree muffin that's I mean that's a good point I mean it's not that's why that's why I think that that main was was really good because there was a lot of really uneven surfaces like not a whole ton of like mud but it was just very bumpy you know you're like it kind of required you to like pay attention. Just terrain like that, I'm 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 good with. I'm good with like you throwing terrain where like it's. I have to pay attention to my vehicles like balance, etc. Oh, Vlad, Vlad, yes, I I have a I have a, a fix for you, but bro. Um, I did the same thing and I had the fog. So what you have to do um, to fix that, you have to drive on every map in the game. So just take like your best vehicle, drive on every map in the game and just like interact with something. I guess like, I guess here I'll kind of like explain this a little bit more. So like when you drive to the quarry, come here to the fuel station, just interact with it. Or like interact with something. And then go to Zimnagorst, interact with something go back so just go to every map and enter interact with something there and then that like what what does is it'll unshroud the whole map um whenever i transfer my save here i had to do that it took me about two and a half hours to do it two maybe almost three but i mean like 
that's just the struggle of it, man. It's something you have to do. I wish they would fix it. You tape the accelerator and you browse YouTube. Yeah. And that's why, like, for more... Um, there was a point where I was like, you know what? I don't, I don't even feel bad using the 605R. Like, on the new map, I was just like, nope, I'm not using it. Because, like, I just wanted to experience experience the game a little bit more. I, and I also knew they weren't going to make it as hard. So, yeah. I mean... Yeah, you could do that too as well. That's a good that's a good um a good point muffin. You could do that as well, Vulcan. Just download some stupid mod. Like some crazy powerful mod and just like fly through the maps. Okay, I wanna hook this guy up again. Because I'm actually going to need these logs. up perfectly. Yeah, I'm not really sure what OP mod you could download though. That's the only thing. I'm not really super um, up on the mods. Okay. Let's get this uh 64131 out of here. What in the world? So, yeah, Vlad, I hope that helped. Some dude provided a Python script, but it's not working, so drive. Yeah, that's it's tough, man. I'm sorry to hear about that. It is it is really like annoying that you have to do that, but it's definitely worth it to go over to Steam. I do still have my my Epic Games. Um, I still have that save, and I still have the PTS. I still use the PTS like whenever I go look at stuff that's like upcoming. That's really the only reason I keep it. But other than that, like, I'm, I'm definitely on Steam. Sweet, so we only have one, one logging um, contract left. But that's over in Zimnogorsk, so I'm not worried about it until we get there. That's, uh, that's later problems right now. Can I swing this? I might try to get up this... Get this little... This little way right here. Hmm, can I do it? Uh, I knew it. I should have pulled down farther. Okay, let's try to figure out the fastest route back down here. I think it's going to be like 
this, this right here. Oops, what in the world was that? What in the world? A login Tamir is a pain. <laughs> Use the 73210 on the boar. That's a good combo. The boar. Man, I used the boar on uh, on main for long logs. Man. I was I was happy. <laughs> I was happy with it. Okay, no stumps, no stumps. Okay, no stumps. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill up this fuel tank in here. And then I'm just going to deliver that, um, what's it called? That, um, that trailer to its location. There's no reason for me to keep it around. And I'll just take this, um, this little fuel cargo or fuel tanker with me in some form or fashion. It gets really foggy on this map. Like, okay, here is where I've definitely tipped this thing over. Right there. Oof. I've tipped it right there too. Here's the thing, man. Like after on my second time I played the cola, I didn't think it was that hard. I just think it it's got the reputation of being so hard just because when we first started playing it, it was so different. And like the mechanics change, like the ice properties, you know, using the radar trailer, all this stuff, you know, like the slippery rocks, the ice. Like chain tires actually mattered at some point in that game or some point in that that um that playthrough on the second time i mean like if you go to my my video on like recommended routes for that like the, the my route runner video you can take the you can get to the side of the map um you can get to the north side and the west side of the map very very quickly like just by taking the ice so yeah it can be done. Scout fuel trailer. Scout fuel carrier. Fuel carrier trailer. Cool. Now, refuel. Take a refuel you. I think that should be okay to take back now. You think Cola is fine? Amandra isn't. 
Cove, coved is fine, and a mandra isn't hard so much as is irritating. Yeah, it's just things just take a long time to do. Oh gosh, scouts, scouts and snow. Whew. It's a whole nother thing, man. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. He's pretty much good. I don't know why this does that. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly what I did, Muffin. That's exactly what I did. Repair. <clears throat> okay. Repair. 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 Now let me see if I need to repair. The international. No, I sh he should be okay. That's fine. Okay, so now... trying to suck every bit of fuel out of there. I feel like I'm still letting it hang out with too much. Okay, let's see where I gotta take these then. So Rogue, I delivered to this, to the south tower, that's fine. Connection, okay, oil sampling, deliver to the fuel station. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Okay, that makes sense. All right. I think my Tega is upgraded, actually. I think he's pretty much almost stock. I don't think he has the upgraded suspension. Oh, yeah. So I haven't really... Um, he probably has the second engine. Uh, yeah. I did. I did, uh, Luke. And that, I, that's actually something that I was thinking about making a video on. Like, kind of like an update. Like, why, like my justification for why I did sell some trucks, why I did buy some trucks. So, the Twin Steer is an amazing vehicle. Like, it, it's a freaking, it's a boss. But the thing is, um, for me, other than it just being able to carry four slots of cargo, it couldn't really do much more. And my reasoning be for selling it is because... The twin steer isn't the most stable vehicle. Like you can make it stable by dropping the suspension, putting dually tires on, etc. But the thing is, um, hold on a second. Somebody called me. Two, three, four. Oh, it's a scam. Scam likely. Oh, scam likely. Sorry. Uh, so back to what I was saying. For me, it's kind of like a liability. Um, 
anytime I've played with the twin steer, usually when I tip it, and it it happens frequently, like everybody like tends to tip it. It's it's kind of hard. You can definitely play it with uh, and get by tipping it, but you know it happens. So I guess like in those moments that it does happen, um, in hardcore you're basically to rescue him. You have to bring a truck all the way out there, tip him right side up, put the cargo back on him. That takes time, resources, which is money, fuel, etc. So I was like, you know what? I don't think I'm going to. So yeah, I just sold it. But in my regular playthrough, like yeah, I'll use it. But in, in this one, I just wanted to have trucks that can do multiple things. Or that I felt had like multiple uses. More than like, more than a couple. But it's definitely not a knock on the, on the twin steer. It has nothing to do with its ability. It's just my, my personal preference on it. I think I can go this way. So I think I can just hit this trail over here. Yep, that's a that was a, that's a good idea. That's a good idea, because now I can't sell the upgrade, which is yeah. I did think about that after the fact. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's something. After the fact, yeah, that's probably what I should have done. And yeah, Luke, that's a very good point. And I thought about that like probably a couple days ago. I was like, man, there's not gonna be a way for me to sell the upgrade. Because the upgrades probably sells for like, I don't know, what, 5, 6k or something like that? At, le at the very least, so yeah, you're definitely right. Oh, they are? I didn't notice that. That's I think that's kind of how the... Um, another truck that's like that, I believe, is the Voron Grad. I believe the front tires on the Voron Grad are, are wider than the... Um, the back tires. And that's another reason the Voron Grad is pretty darn um, stable. It, its front tires are like super wide. Okay. Okay, hey, I can use this now. We're definitely taking this back. <laughs> this is free. Free repairs right here. That's another thing I haven't bought yet, is a repair, a repair trailer. I use, I've used them all. So if you can, definitely use all these. There's still like 700 repair points in here, and I, I think like six tires. Slow down, because this is going to be a very, very tippy spot. Especially with a fuel tanker. But yeah, good, good point, Luke. That's a, that's a really good point. I mean, I think I'm going to try to keep most of my vehicles that I have now. So something I'm losing out on money right now is um, I'm not doing three contests. I'm only doing one. I'm doing one. I'm doing a contest one time, 
and that's it just for completion so i am missing out on a ton of revenue just from not completing them three times and i'm just doing that because i just don't want to do contests three times over i don't think like there should just be like a bonus like if you get a gold the first time you get like all three or something i don't know I think that wasn't a good thing to add in hard mode. But that's just my uh, my point of view, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna take this up to the road up north. We're gonna grab the other trailer with the BM-17. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> we'll take that other trailer up north. We'll fill up the <clears throat> fill up the P-12, take it to its spot, and then we'll move our operations to Zimnogorsk. So does anybody have any plans for the weekend? Anybody going, driving anywhere? Going to any like movies? I haven't been to the movies in so long. There was a movie I wanted to see. It's a uh, Welcome to Raccoon City. It's like basically like based off of like Resident Evil. But I heard it was terrible. So like I don't know. Yeah, no upgraded engine. This is not gonna be fun. Okay, use the mouse here. Hey, what's up, funky skunk? Going good, man. I'm um, just trying to. Uh... Oh man, I need to release, huh? So I'll just release this. Um, I'm not sure what name that is, but thank you so much for that follow. Appreciate it. Let me check that actually. Thank you for stopping in, Funky Skunk. How was your Friday going? Let me check what name that it was. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry I can't pronounce that name, but thank you so much for that subscription. Appreciate it. Welcome to the, uh, welcome to the stream. Funky Skunk, thank you for that subscription as well. Sorry, it's kind of d delayed on my part, so thank you so much. Appreciate that. But yeah, I was going to go see uh, Welcome to Raccoon City, and I was like... Because um, I watch a lot of people do speed runs on like Resident Evil games and stuff like that. So I was like, man, maybe I'll go see it. <clears throat> and they were I heard just heard a bunch of them talking about it, and they're like, no, it's not good. So... I didn't go and see it. Definitely still thinking about it, though. Really? It rolled three times before I even said tips? Yo, Mr. Zeller. How you doing, man? Welcome in. Happy Friday. Thank you for stopping in. Oh, 
thanks, man. I appreciate that. It's over there on Saturday morning. Oh, so you you probably live in Europe then, right? I appreciate that funky skunk. I try, man. I, I really do. I definitely try with uh with my best. So we're gonna go refuel this P12. We're gonna refuel the P12. I'll stop. I'll bring the the BM17. Refuel this fuel tank. Take that mission trailer up to its spot and then we're going to move all of our stuff over to Zinnogorsk. Refuel. Oh, Austria. Or Australia. Nice, man. I've been to, uh, I've been to Australia. Let's see. I've been to Sydney. I've been to Brisbane. Or Brisbane. I've been to Perth. Where else? I'm trying to think. I'd have to. I have to actually go look. <laughs> I'm gonna look at this map. Hold on. Map. Okay. So. I have been to Brisbane, I've been to Sydney, I've been to Melbourne, I've been to Perth, uh, where else, I've, I've been to Darwin, so yeah, I mean, it's awesome, man, what's up, Eduardo, welcome in, hope you're having a wonderful Friday as well, refuel. Okay, let's go get this BM-17. Because he has my mission trailer. Oh, nice. Good. It's, it, I'm so bad with pronunciations, too, so that's good. I used to travel a lot in the Air Force, and that's, that's somewhere we would travel a lot. It was actually Australia. Because I was uh, stationed in Hawaii, so we would all we would always go like westbound in the Pacific Arena. So been there quite a few times. Yeah, I have Luke. I've been to yeah a lot of them actually. Been to Vietnam, been to Japan. I've been to gosh, I've been to a lot, man. Thailand. Yeah, I've been I've been to a bunch of them. I actually have a map that um shows like the countries I've been to. So uh, it's in my in my phone. It's actually the factory in the Drownlands. This one right here. Oh shoot! Well. We'll see. Hopefully it's not. <laughs> it shouldn't be. This is a, uh, a task, though. It's not a contract. So tasks are, like, always, like, map. They're always just for that map. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, though. You know, things change in this game. I, I, I'm telling you, like, it's crazy. Europe, Hungary. I'm trying to think if I have been to Hungary. I don't think I've been to Hungary. Actually, I can check. Let me pull up my phone real quick. This app I have is called Marco Travel. So it kind of like, it, I used to track everywhere I went. I've been to like 35 countries. Let's see if I can find it. <laughs> Just give me a second. If it ever pulls up. Okay, all right. So here's where I've, here's the places I've been, Mr. Worldwide. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go through them. I've been to Djibouti, I've been to Libya, I've been to Australia, I've been to Kiribati, I've been to the Marshall Islands, I've been to New Zealand, Samoa, Burma, Japan, Malaysia, 
the Philippines, Singapore, South Korea, Thailand, Vietnam, France, Germany, Greece, Iceland, Italy, Poland, Spain, Switzerland, Bahrain, Iraq, Kuwait, Turkey, uh, United Arab Emirates, Canada, Mexico, United States, Ecuador, Afghanistan, India, and Nepal. So quite a quite a few places. Oh, okay. Well, then I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the long way. Let's check this out. Let's see here. Refuel. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second here. The weird thing is, like, I can't transfer fuel. Oh, let's see. Oh, that's perfect. That's right above 10%. That's, like, perfect. How about Russia? No, I haven't been to Russia yet. Not yet. Kind of your bucket list. Traveling is cool, man. It's a it's a humbling experience. It really is. You know, some of those places that, you know, they, you know, when you go when you travel for like the military, you're not always landing in the best of places in those countries, you know, and you're seeing a lot of a lot of poverty and stuff like that. So, it just I don't know. It allows you to become, it's kind of humbling, it allows you to become, I guess, more thankful. So a lot of traveling has actually like made me pretty thankful for everything I have. Because we do, we do live very, very good here. And uh, very, we're very fortunate and blessed. Oh, goodness. What just happened? I just smashed. What in the world was that? a frog inside the well. You were stationed there? Oh gosh, Rob. Sorry, man. Okay. This is roughly 10%. And it took it. See? Okay, cool. That's, that's good. It was at 65 gallons out of... So I could have turned it in with like, I think, 52. But, yeah. I just decided it. sometimes like when you hit 10% it like it won't actually take it. it has to be above 10% it's like 10% and above so I usually don't it's hard to do like precision okay during the desert storm days oh gosh I can imagine yep that's true. All right, so we're going to take this through. We're just going to start moving our stuff over, honestly, like. Huh, that's weird. That's, that's seriously really odd it made you do that. So yeah, I'm just gonna roll in high gear because anytime I put I put it in like, if anybody who's dro drove in, in Tamir knows, like whenever you fly down these roads, you just collect damage. So I'm just gonna chill, leave it in high gear, not take damage.
Oh man, Brit, I don't even know that airbase. They must have closed that one. I never even heard of that. Well, of course I wouldn't have heard of that. <laughs> Uh, Rob, what did you do over there? Oh, okay, I see. Over to Zimnogorsk. Patriot Missile Air Defense System. Nice, dude. That's wild. here and there's the Dan I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the Dan man those C-17 Glowmasters are amazing you had to fly one directly one flew directly over you and banked hard 45 degrees yeah dude they are pretty wild um I can tell you this being being in the back of that aircraft whenever it's doing that it was jink jinking and janking it's not fun it's not it's uh it's a it's a ride to say the least okay so i'm gonna leave the p i'm gonna leave the p12 here because i need him for later now we're gonna grab the tatrin You were scud busters. Oh wow, man. That's crazy. What? That's crazy, Luke. That's so weird. Actually, you know what? We're gonna jump in load star. Oh man, the Dan is good. The Dan's good for other things too. Just wait till you get that. We can use the Dan for sure. The Dan with the, that raised suspension or that active suspension is quite impressive, man. I think you'd really like it. Oh shoot, I'm trying to think. Tatrin. Oh, you couldn't hear it until it was right on you? Dang, that's crazy. Okay. Actually, hold up. Stop. I want to see if I got these. Yeah, I do. Cool. Alright, cool. Let's go. Why'd I bother to get the load start instead of the yard? Um, well, because I had no scout that could do, um, I'm not too much of a fan of the YAR, but the YAR would have been good, yes, but I used the load star in Alaska to do those, um, those contests that go up into the mountains, and I wouldn't have been able to do those with any other scout I had. So I, there was no way for me to come here to get the, the, the YAR. I would have broke my rolls because the YAR is a Russian truck. So coming here to get the YAR just to go back to Alaska would have broke my rolls. 
plus, I don't know. I think I think the load star is great, great. So, oh, shoot, where am I? Oh, I'm going right away. Never mind. Yeah, how much is the? Hold on one second. Let me actually look. I want to look how much the yar is. Let's see how much this is, because I think it's more than. It might be more than uh, the lodestar. Let's see scouts. Where's the yar? The yar is thirty thousand. Still, pre that's pretty good. Yeah, it's cheaper. It's cheaper than the Lodestar. Okay, back to Quarry. But yeah, I couldn't come to um, Russia to buy the Yar. So at the time, I knew um, I knew that I didn't have a scout to do it. The, the scout I had was the Scout 800. And I uh, pretty much knew for certain that the Scout 800 was not going to climb up those hills and get golds because I was actually trying to get gold just for the money and then the re and then the next question I mean the next question is why didn't I use the um the, what's it called the Chevy instead of the, the Scout 800 well that's just because I wanted to have a little bit more of a challenge I felt like I always used the Chevy in two playthroughs I used the Chevy so I was like you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna use the scout this time, so. And I know that the, the the Chevy or the Scout and the Hummer wouldn't been able to finish those. It is underpowered. It's true. It's a little bit tippy, but I mean it has always on dif differential locking, so that was a really cool thing too as well. Like. I would turn off all-wheel drive a lot of times and just run like, you know, two-wheel drive down like, you know, light roads and stuff. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, Muffin. There's actually a stream that I, I climbed the uh, King of the Hill with the um, Scout 800 on stream. And uh, I think it's, it's still here on YouTube, I think, if you go back and look at my first um, and I was climbing the hill, and everybody was like, yeah, you're going to tip. I ended up making it, so... It was very hard, though. It's very hard. But yeah, um... Luke, I used the, the Yar. I used that truck a lot in my first playthrough. So, that's another reason. I haven't used it a lot since my first playthrough but that was like I would use the yard and then I would use the tatcher in here so yeah but the yard is a good truck it's a good scout I mean, it's it's a good truck to, to haul the radar trailer. It does have it does have a lot of uh, what's it called? It has has a ton of range, you're right? Same here. That's why I usually do is just use a Tatrin. This guy's going back in the garage. Refuel. Ah, oh, come on. What's up, Jack Howe? 
Welcome to the stream, man. Happy, happy Friday. What's up, Nathan? Welcome in, man. Look at this molded piece of plastic. Gosh, I wish I could just repair this for free. That price, uh, fifteen hundred, isn't bad. Uh, I'm trying to, I'll just leave it like this, I guess. It's fine. Okay, Corey. Tega. Tega, let's go. Yo, big disappoint. Thank you so much for the subscription. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Happy Saturday. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Okay, so actually we're going to take the Azov up here. Because we're going to like kill two birds at one stone. We're going to take him up here. You're driving a beetle? It's got that sound. So uh, we're going to drive up here. I'm going to load some these long logs into this bed. And then uh, we'll take these to the next map just so we have them in place. What's up, Ano? Welcome in. Yeah, that's Vlad. That's actually like my experience with the Yar on my first playthrough. I used the Yar with the radar trailer. And, I, you know, I thought like with its massive tires and stuff like that, it was going to do super well. It did okay for a scout, I guess, but like I still, I still had a little bit of trouble with it too as well. And that's why like I would just drag it around with the Tatran. But I mean, like, to each his own, like, scouts are not really that good. So it's like... Hey, man, I think however you can get it done, get it done, you know what I mean? Yo, Nini, welcome in. You're new around here? Okay. I'm the first SnowRunner streamer you've ever seen. Oh, man, thanks. Appreciate that. I normally don't stream much, but uh, I do make a lot of videos on YouTube. Um, I mostly do truck reviews. I've also done a lot of like map map guides, um, stuff like that. So you can check those out too as well. Thank you for stopping in, man. Happy uh, Happy Friday. Resolution a bit narrow. Let's see. Yeah, it's because it's because it's seven it's seven twenty p. Yeah, the resolution is narrow because it's 720p. The 6x6 Chevy It's the most disappointing scout. Oh gosh, I haven't even bought that. I haven't even bought the, the Cherokee. Or, wait, that's no, not called the Cherokee, it's called something else. I forget what it's called. It's called something. I forget. It's gonna bug me. The radar trailer is pretty tough, man. Oh, appreciate it. Thank you, Nini. Thank you for that subscription. It should have popped up here on uh, on stream, but if it didn't, thank you for that subscription. Thank you. I'm the first streamer you saw on YouTube. Hey man, well thank you for stopping by. I appreciate that. That's crazy. I thought more people streamed on, on YouTube. Oh shoot, I didn't want to do that. Oh, I wanted to rendezvous with the 
with him. That's fine, whatever. I'll go back later. Oh, the Apache, that's right. The Apache. I said Cherokee. <laughs> Come on. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, it does. So, 1080p is wide, is wider, and so is. Um, I actually play on a 2560 by 1440p screen, but I downscale it for streaming, so that's why it looks probably narrow. There's, yeah, there's just no way I can I can stream at a higher resolution, especially to YouTube. I probably could do it to Twitch, and it would look good at 1080p but uh yeah on youtube it's just it's so much different yeah i mean like if if the yard does what you need it to do and that's like if the if any scout does what you need it to do that's like that's a win in my book that's a win as long as it does what you got to do Oh, I absolutely, I'll, I tow, whenever I'm doing, like, I'm playing a map that I need to do, like, the radar trailers, which is, like, which, which one is it? It's, uh, in Mondra, in Lake Cove, I know there's another map you have to, I forget, oh, yeah, it's, um, the Yukon, Flooded Foothills, and maybe a little bit of Big Salmon Peak, yeah, I would just tow it around with the with the um, 420. Oh, you started watching YouTube sometime in September? Oh, okay. What's my favorite engine sound? F750 and the GMCs. Those are pretty good. Those are, those are pretty solid. I'm actually, I, I do, I do like the sound that the uh, International HX 520 makes. It's kind of cool. All right, Nini, uh, thank you for stopping in, man. Appreciate the subscription. Have a wonderful Friday, or, or wherever you are in the world. Saturday, Friday. How do you re let me catch up the chat real quick? Sorry. Oh shoot. How do you resupply a service trailer when there's no service station on the map? Uh, that you really can't. If there's no service station, you would just have to buy another one. On hard mode, you'd have to just buy another one. Tech, that's right. You have to just buy another one if there's no service station. Hey, what's up, Jack? Oh, yeah, I already said what's up to you. Um, yeah, Jack, I, I do plan on doing some. Um, I don't have, have anything currently, like, on the, the short-term list, but I'm going to soon. So, yeah, the Voron Grads engine does sound pretty cool. That turbo does sound pretty legit. That's a really, really good one. Good, that's a good one, Luke. We're gonna go scout. Hard mode sucks. I mean, there's Vlad. I, I think I think you should try it. All right, let's go get this tower. I think you should give it a shot, Vlad. I think you would like it. Yeah. 
MH9500 is pretty good, yeah. Do I think we'll get Season 3 or a sequel? Honestly, I'm kind of hoping for a sequel. Um, because I think, so I think something is like... Alright, I'm gonna have to like stop and talk about this for a second. So I, I think the reason they couldn't like modify the ANK is I think what they did was they made it so you could not like modify the truck. So that's why they made the ANK civilian because they said if you they would have modified the original ANK, it would have like crashed the game. So the thing is, moving forward, they really can't change the game or change trucks that they've already added. Like I think vanilla trucks, they can't really change them. If they couldn't change the ANK and it would like make the make something like freeze. So I don't know. I'm almost hoping for like a revamp, but then I'm kind of hoping for like another season, I guess. So what, Nathan, what, what have they said about, um, what have they said about season seven that you've heard? P16, oh man, the engine, the horn on the P16 is nasty. Okay, I got that one already, cool. Oh yeah, that's true. The war on AE does sound pretty cool too as well. <clears throat> oh, that'd be cool, Muffin. Who knows, man? Great location. Oh, I know what this is. This is the engine for the Tega and the Vorons. Or the Tega and Tegas and the Vorons. What's next, Sandrunner? You know, they made a joke about that on Reddit. Because they think, because like they're working, Saber's working on like a new racing game. So that's the thing, I don't know if they're even gonna make any more SnowRunner stuff for a while, because like I feel like they're making a racing game. It's kinda concerning because like I kinda I kinda like this. I, w I would like to continue like playing this. Yep. Nice engine there for the Tega. I'm definitely gonna upgrade that. Yeah, I, I knew some players, Vlad, that did a self-imposed hardcore mode like that too as well. I literally watched, when I first started playing this, I was watching uh, some really good um, players play that stuff. And they kind of played like you were saying. <clears throat> Climbing events, even more fun ideas rather than just pick this up, deliver it there. Okay. Jungle Runner. <laughs> Snow Yes, No Runner did well. It really did. Winch Runner, <laughs> nice. Uh, Mat Matsu, Matsu. Sorry, I probably slaughtered your name. Yeah, I hope we don't get a four season four sequel either. Yeah, that's true. I haven't done the first person mode only. That would be tough, because then, then you're down to, that's actually really uh, something to think about, because then you're down to, like, you know, first person, like, can you see, <laughs> there's not, because only a few trucks have, like, really good, like, windows to see out of, not all of them do. Matthew in English? Okay. I'll, I'll try to remember that. Sorry about slaughtering your name there. Welcome to the stream. Happy Friday, Space Runner. <laughs> well, maybe you should uh, tweet to Elon Musk and see if he'll uh, <laughs> he'll make a suggestion to Saber. Oh, this thing hates rocks. There's the big engine for the Dan and all those other trucks, so... Mission complete. Okay, so 
Let's try to get through. Over the, this way. What's up, Jimmy boy? Welcome in. Happy Friday. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that's true. I just think they need to do, like, here's, see those eyes? Look at all that. It's kind of crazy. Um, I really do, I think they should do a revamp. You know, like, Spin Tires was good. Mud Runner was good. I never played them. I, I've heard they're, they're really good from a lot of people. So, actually, I might, I might bring this back to the garage. Deliver to the warehouse. I might do this now. I'm gonna do this now. There's no reason I, I, I shouldn't do this now. Do I miss the Air Force? Um, I do. And, and like, it's weird. Like, whenever you're in and you're getting out, um, you're kind of excited to for the next chapter, you know what I mean? And then, uh, when you get out, I mean, even when I was in, it, I, I knew, I knew for a fact it was the best job I've ever had. But yeah, I still miss it. Yeah, that's true with, with modded maps. It's kind of like Mud Runner, man. Like people still play Spin Tires. People still play Mud Runner. Like I don't think it's gonna just go away magically. It's just kind of gonna be like, hey, if I feel like playing it, I'll play it. It's a game you can just pick up and put down. You know what I mean? It's like at your pace. It's kind of chill. Like if I was playing like a first-person shooter right now, I probably wouldn't be able to talk to you guys. Red Canyon? No, I haven't tried that. I heard it's really good, though. I kind of wanted to try Lake Co-op. But my friend, um, I posted something on my community my community tab on, on YouTube. My friend actually put out a mod map. It has, like, a scenario. And it's, like, based upon, like, Mud Runner. So, if you ever want to check that mod map out, yeah, go to my, go to my YouTube and, and check it out. I heard Red Canyon is just like a lot of like very bumpy areas and that's like right up my alley. Good views, bumpy areas. Oh. Okay, so here's another little um talking about siphoning stuff. Yeah, it's max power. Yep. That's in. Okay, so check this out. Here's what we're gonna do. Refuel. So we're gonna siphon the gas out of this, um, this Tuz. And then turn them in. Oh my goodness, dude. You gotta be kidding me. It just deleted my stuff. Yeah, Max Max Power, um, the developers actually, I think, they gave him a shout out a long time ago. But, I mean, his production is great. He's a good friend of mine. Whatever. It does need more than four save slots, that's true. <clears throat> it does need more. That is a very good point. I 
very, very good point. <clears throat> Okay, let's we're gonna go up here and around so here's a crazy thing I, I figured out the last time I played this is I always thought I had to go down here and cross this river to go southbound and then I thought this was the only crossing I didn't know that I can make this I can go around this turn and then come up here for the longest time Yeah, I didn't want to use uh, the repair station. It cost money. Uh, plus, I had a free a free trailer. So whenever I run out, run out with a trailer, then I'll just I'll use that. out it's like over here somewhere we'll figure it out I'll just drive there <clears throat> oh yeah I bet yeah it doesn't want the p16 is a fat it's a fat boy it's a fat pig I feel like my voice is starting to go. It's like weird. I like recorded my audio for my video today and afterward I was just like man I need to take a break and then somehow I just got on here and started streaming so kind of weird. I think the tower is actually down this way. Yeah somewhere. Oh, straight ahead, that's right. Did it only repair the pop tire on hard mode? Tried going up the hill as it was literally impossible. With the 73210, that thing should have got up there really easily. tires you have that have damage won't be touched till they pop or till you repair the garage. I'm pretty sure it repairs just the tires that were popped and then the suspension. Okay. Lost instruments, Zimnagor's bridge, there's a resupply zone. Goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna like do a little mapping here. Grab this, come in here, grab yep. Grab that. And then I guess we'll come out. I need to cross somewhere. I know. I might be able to cross down here if it's shallow enough. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to go back and then try to cross. I'd rather just... The other crossing, I know I'm going to take a ton of damage in the water. So we'll just figure it out. <clears throat> Let's see what time I have on stream. I probably have like three hours right now. I think what we'll do is we'll grab these these contracts or these tasks and then we'll wrap it up here. I do have some stuff I need to do. So 
but yeah, we're I'm super excited. You know, we hit a thousand subscribers. I literally thought that would never happen. I really never expected that to happen. I just was like, hey, it was a super awesome hobby, which it still is. I love it. I love doing it. So hopefully it can continue. But yeah. We are going to basically... We're going to stop here. Um, yeah, we've been going for three hours right now. So we're going to stop. On something. Oh, okay. The hill that... The, okay, I see. Oh, I see what you're talking about, Jimmy Boy. But yeah, thank you guys all for coming out on a Friday. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful night. If it's Saturday where you're at, happy Saturday. Um, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and just coming and hanging out whenever I stream and for all your comments and stuff like that. It really, uh, it, It's really helpful. So yeah, until next time, guys, have a wonderful day. God bless, and uh, we'll see you next time. Stay upright. Oh my gosh, the community of SnowRunner is amazing. So you're absolutely right, Jack Howe. So anyways, guys, we'll talk to you later. Have a good one.